Good morning. Thanks for taking a look at uh, my 1989 Suburban SLE. I've had some requests for a video walk around, so I thought I'd um, get it out here this morning. It's kind of a nice, chilly December morning in upstate New York, and uh, good day for a truck. And really, with uh, with this truck, it's uh, uh, I'm always looking for an excuse to uh, get it out and run it around a little bit. Um, as you've seen from the photos, it's in really, really nice shape. It's been well cared for. It's a, uh, it spent most of its life in Southern Pennsylvania. And if you know anything about Southern Pennsylvania, uh, cars and trucks survive there very well. And, uh, this one is one of those examples that has been uh, lucky enough to to get this far and uh, and be in really nice shape. So let's do a walk around, uh, and I'll tell you what I know about it. But uh, it is an '89 GMC Suburban, the 350 V8. Automatic transmission, two-wheel drive, air conditioning that works really nice, AM FM stereo. It has the special order large fuel tank. And uh, I drove this four and a half or five hours on one run with a full tank. And uh, when I parked it, it was uh, I still had over half a tank. So that gives you an idea. I think if my math is correct, you could drive this from Syracuse, New York to Charlotte, North Carolina without filling up. And that's pretty impressive. And it's nice with a with a uh, a big rig like this because uh, if you put all your buddies in this thing or your, a family with all the stuff and, and want to head cross country for a uh, kind of an old school road trip vacation, uh, you're going to you're going to make some miles. You can drive uh, pretty much a whole day and just fill up at night when you get to the hotel or the campsite and, uh, and you're set for the, for the next day's uh, drive. As you can see, it's, uh, like I said, it's just in really nice shape. New BFG all-terrain TA tires. I just had those put on. I like the look of them and it's uh, so the tire situation is ready to go and uh, this truck did come with running boards. I have them. You can certainly have them with uh, if you're interested in them but I wanted to show you that uh, that lip down there is where the running board was affixed and uh, you would think that there'd be some rust and corrosion because uh, of that tight fit but just really really clean and that uh, when I pulled those running boards off I was amazed at uh, at that that they uh, moisture didn't get down in there and and do any damage and that sort of is consistent with the with how the rest of the truck looks come around here and this is the tailgate option so it has the the power lift gate. You, uh, whoop, dropped it. <sighs> Put the key in, turn it, uh, turn it clockwise, window goes down, and there's your nine passenger seating. That seat can be removed, so you have all, a ton of space back there. That works nice. Really, everything on this truck works nice. Being an '89, is fuel injected, so you don't uh, get the the carburetor uh, issues that you would. Uh, I haven't driven this thing quite some time, and like I said, it's a cold December morning, and it fired right up like I uh, had driven yesterday. Chrome's nice. Uh, again, the wheels and tires are in great shape. 
just an all-around all around really nice truck. If you're looking for, uh, you could use use this as a day to day driver. Um, I'd hate to see it being used in the winter in the Northeast because it's in such, such nice shape. But anywhere around the country, out west, this would be a great truck for if you lived in the in the West, Colorado, Wyoming. Be perfect for that. And we'll walk around and uh, take a look at the interior quickly. It's uh, interior's uh, just as nice as as the rest of the truck. <coughs> See, it's just nice and clean. As I said, we have power windows, power locks, AC. AM FM stereo, CB radio, trailer kit, cruise, compass, generous center uh, storage console. The upholstery is in fantastic condition. It's really ready to go. And, uh, I think anybody would be really, really pleased to uh, own this truck. So if you have any questions that I haven't answered, give me a call, take a look at the photos and my description. And uh, my name is Dustin. You can reach me at 315-271-6435. Thanks, and I hope you enjoyed the video.